to you by Wixon <coughs> Wyndham. Umpire Khan throws the ball up for the start of the second half and gets it down towards uh, Armstrong for Thompson. Gets the first clear kick out of the middle. Goes towards O'Leary and Stefanoski. O'Leary playing a loose man across the fence. He goes for the safety of the banjo line. Good kick. And, well, it's still in. It hit the banjo line, but was still in. Hobbs, they're all waiting. Humphrey has to chase Matty Hobbs. He can't do so successfully. And Hobbs gets the kick away towards centre-half forward. From behind, Senjov gets it down. Atchison's there as well. Coming through into Vong. Rides the bump. Also in there, Maharis gets it away to Atchison. Slick hands to Wolfen and back to Maharis. Good in close. Goes with a left foot kick towards half forward. Peacock called out by Costello. Off hands towards Marcus, who does well. Runs from half back. Goes with a wobbly torpedo punt towards half forward. It's all Thompson. Three against one. Goes to the front of the pack. Atchison roves it. Handballs to Highland. Back towards Lazic at centre half back and he clears, goes long towards Anderton, does well against Stefanoski. Foot race between those two. Go, goes now towards Stefanoski. Stefanoski with a right foot towards half forward. Oh, great play. Lazic, he chopped it off. And Lazic plays on now. Goes with a right boot towards half forward. O'Leary and uh, off there, off hands towards Reuter at half back, going across there for the Eagles. And also Hill goes towards uh, the boundary line. Reuter and it is out of bounds. Off hands now at half forward for the Tommy Tigers. On the outer side, half forward flank. Ball out of bounds, half forward flank, no score, third quarter, two minutes gone. In comes the ball, half forward flank. Up high there is Reuter. Oh, no, it's a secondary tap away now. Call on play, what's uh, going? Free kick gone to uh, the Thompson side, Peacock it is. <clears throat> Must have been a ruck infringement, drives it back towards the head of the goal square. Oh, Cowan's a big <coughs> nudge out, the ball's come to ground, and I tell you what, Humphreys, has he done it again? He's just offline, but uh, by gee, almost, kicks his first behind for the day, and that's the first score of the third quarter. The Lexus and Wyndham scoreboard now, East Geelong 4-5-29, they trail Thompson 6-6-42. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly a mirror image of the first term, wasn't it, Laurie? <laughs> Roving off the side of the pack with the left foot. O'Leary to kick in. Sean O'Leary. Certainly trying to get him in the game. They definitely are. He kicks out and goes to the outer side. Reuter uses the body to push, said the umpire. And it will be a free kick to Rob Lassick for Thompson on the outer side, half forward flank. Now we're waiting for a couple of players for Leeds. Morrison gives him one. He goes in that direction. Oh. He kicked it into the canteen nearly again. Morrison's pretty wide as he kept it in. He has. Held up in that breeze. Now, Lee Morrison on 50, off one step. <laughs> well, he's kicked it out of bounds on the full and uh, well and truly out of bounds on the full for a free kick to the Eagles in the last line defence. It's going to be Sean O'Leary. So 14 goals one week. <laughs> Back line the next. I suppose it's not a bad move to get him into the play because yep. he was certainly being curbed in the forward line and... Uh, uh, obviously, the, the hierarchy have done something about it. He goes towards half back. Stefanoski's there, tries to tap it on, getting back there. Wolfenden to sit for him. Yes, it does. Handball back to Stein off a standing start. Right foot kick towards half forward through the arms of Menzies. Rove, though, by uh, I think that might be Morrison across half forward. Can't take it with him. Gets a second effort, goes in, loses the football. Still across there. Reuter falls in the arms of Lazic. He's handball to Menzies. He goes now. Short little kick into the pocket cow. In fact, it's Anderton. And he has taken the mark about 35 metres out from goal. And on the right side for a left footer. But that wind is still going to be a bit of a problem as he kicks. Morrison taking quite a while to get up from Into that it, last Across tackle. it, yeah. And it in now. Left foot goes in. He has missed. And one behind of the big man, Brett Anderton. So the first score on the board for the third quarter for Thompson. They go to 6-6. Uh, six, six, sorry, second. 6-7-43. And uh, East Geelong 4-5-29. It's on the Lexus of Wyndham third quarter scoreboard. We've been playing four minutes in the third term. It's going to be Sean O'Leary again. Leary, uh, <coughs> Leary finds uh, Peters deep in the back pocket. Runs on now. Drives the ball much longer towards centre wing. Big pack of players there. Comes to ground. Thompson at the drop of the ball doing very well in this quarter. There's a huge tackle there put on by, it looks like, Bradley. And uh, brought the uh, East, East Geelong player to ground in Marcus. And uh, umpire said had no opportunity. So... Uh, Umpire with the ball, centre wing, change room side here at uh, Richmond Crescent. Coming to ground there is Wolfenden, and 
We're not going too far, Laurie, but the, the, the defensive tackling is, is very, very strong here. Yeah, they've tried very hard, Eric, and we just said before, you know, the conditions are not helping it out there today, and uh, we just got to live with it, I guess. I see Dale Purcell trying to limber up along the boundary line, so uh, I think he's pretty keen to get back into the action. From the throw up on centre wing, it's come out to uh, Peters of East Geelong. A left foot kick, but he hasn't hit it too well. If it comes back into the centre corridor, if they can pick the ball up, they're in the right place to take it forward. But no, Thompson too good in the clinches. Comes to Steen. Long driving kick to uh, forward pocket. It's going to land almost in the canteen again. And uh, I don't think East Geelong canteen has ever had so much attention uh, in the game of footy. But they're getting plenty today because uh, that seems to be the corner of the ground lorry where the ball's just floating over the boundary line time after time. Yes, it's just that nasty uh, direction of the wind there, Eric. It's fair income going straight into those ladies in the canteen. <laughs> so it wasn't on the full, so we've got a throw in there. Boundary umpire puts it back in. Reuter gets the tap down only as far as Wolfenden. Kicks it back into the corridor. Stefanovski can't reach it. Ball's come to ground. Cowan picks it up. Goes for the handball to the left side of Armstrong. So Bailey Armstrong, great shepherding in the goal square by uh, it looked like Peacock, uh, it's Peacock, Peacock was it? But a magnificent goal to Sabali Armstrong. That's his second. And uh, Thompson have their seventh. 7-7, seven, seven, 49. Lead East Geelong 4-5-29 on the Lexus Wyndham scoreboard. East Geelong yet to score in this third quarter. In fact, it was Lee Morrison who did the shepherding in the goal square. Yes. So good play by him. Six, Armstrong, second goal. Six minutes gone. So back in the middle. It's 7-7 seven, seven playing 4-5. Good start for Thompson in this third term. Back in the middle. And it's going to be Reuter against Peacock. And the umpire throws it up. Reuter with a big thump too. Forward towards Barnett. And into Vong. Barnett runs through. Does well. Can handle. He likes to go all the way himself. Go with the left boot. Up towards full forward. Now in front. Good punch away. Good defensive play by Thompson. All row. Flanagan couldn't take it with him. Off, tried for, uh, off the ground. Ferguson tried to tap it back. And did so. Into Vong. Under pressure. From somehow got the kick away. It's going to fall in the square. Bradley. Oh, they run around it. Still in the 10 metre square. They try and tap it through. Flanagan dribbles it through. And it's through for one behind. To the Eagles. And they go now to 4 6 30. They trail Thompson 7 7 49. Lex of Wyndham third quarter scoreboard. Seven minutes gone. And Sabali Armstrong will have the footy from full back. And he could just about land in the middle, I think, quite and he, easily. And he just kicked the last goal. He yep. just kicked the last goal. You said his endurance was pretty good, Laurie. Very good. <laughs> so Armstrong now. Bomb it out this wing, boy. He does too. He listens to the coach, Laurie to Gold. He goes long towards half back. Atchison and Lazic, they line up. They don't take the mark, though. Maharis in front, handball. Was uh, towards Highland again. Parisi runs him into the ground, said the umpire, and he will take a free and 50. 50. Yeah, well, that was straight in front of the umpire, wasn't it? You can't do things like that. And that will be a free kick to Christian Holm with 50. And that will bring him down towards half forward. That was unnecessary, that. Well, it was just deserved ridiculous. 50. And uh, give Highland a bit of a chance if the umpire ever stops. He'd like to pop. Buy some real estate of him, Eric. Yes, because the, the centre square allegedly is 50, is it? Yeah, He's gone from one end to uh, 15 <laughs> metres further. Highland now with the right foot goes long towards the goal square. They line up. Mark not taken. Off hands. Williams Cowan's there on the right foot. You don't see plug a kick too many on them. You don't either because it's smothered and kick out for a boundary throw in. And uh, just tempers becoming a little bit frayed down there between Mark Cowan and Eugene Marcus in the goal square. The boundary umpire will retrieve the footy. Why wouldn't umpire Flowers have paid a free kick down the ground? So, like he's, he's probably caused that injury. <laughs> it's going to be a boundary thrown in the right forward pocket for Thompson. The defensive side of the ground thrown in now. And over the back of the ruck contest. Goes towards Costello. Can't take it with him. He tries to go back. Gibson's there also. Marcus comes in. And the umpire will now come in and ball it up. So a day like today, Laurie, unfortunately, does cause tempers to become a bit fried, doesn't it? The ball <laughs> bouncing very awkwardly. Players, you know, they, they can't exactly. Run it gets in back to what you said earlier. You can see guys are not going hard enough for the footy. It's quite distinctive from other games we've seen this year. There's blokes hanging around, they're waiting for that fickle bounce, but it's not coming, and that you bump into blokes and they get a bit afraid. Ball came out towards Spores outside the halfback flank area and off hands, out of bounds once again. The boundary umpire to throw it in front of the social club here on the southern side of the ground. Reuter runs up with Peacock to do the ruck contest. 
And Reuter takes it out of the ruck contest. Tries to get it towards Marcus. Can't do so. Now he gets it back himself. Handball forward towards Spores. He goes with the right foot kick towards Flanagan. And also Stein getting back at half back. He's got some numbers with him. And one of them's Bradley. Kicks out wide. The lead on from Armstrong. Does it sit for him? Yes, it does. Hobbs comes at him. He gets around beautifully. He does well. Steady in a crisis and runs away. Two bounces. Gets a good shepherd. Goes to the right foot. Out long. Hill comes at it. Two on one. Now it's going to be a roving contest. Coming at it. Costello and Gibson. Falls behind him. Menzies comes at it. Stefanos. Fell into him, no free kick. Menzies plays for it, and it's still play on. The umpire says now it's still 35 metres out from the Thompson goal. They get it away somehow, goes towards Barnett, and he runs away on that left foot, takes a bounce, gets a good shepherd, goes to the left boot around towards centre wing. Nobody really to kick to. Bradley's there. Great pick up on the butt boot laces. Goes back towards half forward. Back towards Peter's. Got a hand to it. Shorty, can he keep it in? Yes, he can. Handball over the top. Anderton comes through. Can't pick up the footy. Lazic's there as well. Drops it. Daniels as well. And the umpire's paid a free kick advantage. It goes to Daniels. He's outside 50. Goes with the right boot. Long. Williams in front of Cowan can take the saving mark. And the Eagles may be able to clear through Damien Williams. Certainly uh, got a lot, a lot of options. And that's where East Long seems to be falling down at the moment. Around the middle of the ground. Williams goes long to centre wing. Reuter can't take the mark, comes to ground. Good work there by uh, Peters again. Drives it over the centre of the ground, over the head of players. Bradley running back onto it. Oh, good work there by uh, Barnett. Picks the ball up and it heads for home. Kicks the ball. Well, I don't know where he's kicked it because uh, certainly wasn't to the lead there of uh, Ferguson. And uh, here come Thompson on the rebound there. Stein gets it back over to uh, Peacock, is it back there? Drives the ball back into the centre of the ground. And there's uh, a good mark there by Morrison. Runs to the centre of the ground. Oh, well, high, wide and handsome. The ball uh, comes to the ground. Stefanovski in good position. Handball to Sean O'Leary. He picks it up. Just kicks it pretty wildly because there's certainly not an East, East Geelong player anywhere to be seen. The ball has come to Maharis. Maharis kicks the ball. Put down after he kicked it. No free kick. But the mark has been taken in the centre of the ground by Anderton. And Anderton for Thompson. Right in the centre circle. On the left foot now. Drives it straight toward the goal. That's where he should be going. At the back. Hill can't take the mark. Humphrey, can he get it? No, he can't. It's picked up there for Eastern Suburbs by Gunn. And uh, East Geelong heading for the boundary. And it's going to beat uh, Sean O'Leary. And uh, over the boundary line. Half forward flank for the Thompson side. And uh, they're just... Having a lot of difficulty, Laurie, transgressing from, from half back to half forward, East. Yes, they're having a lot of trouble with it all. Just they're not prepared to run enough, though, Eric, uh, for some reason or other. And, uh, you know, th that's got nothing to do with the wind running, is it? No, true. From the throw-in, the ball has come clear. East Geelong drive to centre wing. Good position, Steen. Well, free kick over the shoulder. Advantage paid. Atchison takes the ball for... Uh, oh, oh, that's Absolutely 50. ridiculous, and the umpire was watching that and did nothing whatsoever about it. And uh, uh, is that a real eight free kick? Well, I'll tell you what. If it was the umpire who wasn't controlling the game, gave the free kick. The umpire controlling it was right in front yeah. of him, Jase. Yeah, you're dead right, Eric. Uh, he didn't see it, or he saw it, but he didn't pay it. The other guy <laughs> did pay the real eight kick. He um, must need glasses if he didn't see that. He was two metres away. But I mean, the, the umpire, sixty metres away, <laughs> could see it and gave it, and uh, it was so obvious and. Yeah, again, Laurie, as you mentioned before, totally undisciplined play by uh, East Geelong. And, of course, the free kick now in the hands of Lee Morrison's already kicked two with that breeze well within kicking distance. He's just outside 50. And uh, while he kicked the ball last week, I would think not too many problems about getting the distance. He's bung bombed it, well, a little bit too wide, I think, to let the wind do the work for him. In fact, he's missed the woodwork completely. So it's out of bounds on the full beside the behind post. But it is in good position for Thompson on the uh, attacking side of the ground. Now, what can East Geelong do here? Waiting for the ball to come back to uh, Sean O'Leary. That's not a bad looking kick from over in the crowd, actually. <laughs> Sean O'Leary uh, about to recover the ball. Cowan on the mark. He's uh, five metres in from the behind post. And I would imagine O'Leary perhaps would be uh, intent to go across goal here and get on the defensive side. He's taking a long time to... Uh, make a decision, finally comes out to the attacking side, big pack of players, finally comes to ground, handball over the top to Stefanovski, can't take it, Gunn's got to come back and do it all himself, so Gunn picks the ball up again, drives towards half forward, uh, off hands, Hutchison doing very well today, runs the ball over the boundary line, and uh, <coughs> once again, perhaps a bit of undisciplined play by the uh, East Geelong players, could have almost given a free kick away, not so, and we've got to throw in, half forward flank now, Reuter takes the ball, handball to his teammate going past him, Flanagan, but they're uh, doing it in slow motion because Maharas comes in, 
good handball across to his tight. Go towards uh, the centre of the ground. Peacock can't take the mark. Hayes can't take the mark. Finally, the ball, quick kick for East Geelong. Comes back to Shane Hayes on the left foot. Has a teammate out there in gun who went without the ball. Comes back on it. Handball back to Hayes. Handball forward again. But, gee, the, the skills are very, very ordinary today. Uh, and for some reason, perhaps, finally comes to Armstrong. Over the top to Bradley. And again, put down perhaps after he kicked the ball. Menzies for Thompson. Takes the ball. Centre wing. Big handball. Goes nowhere. Comes back to a Shane Hayes in the centre of the ground. On the left foot. Sees a player loose in on half forward or centre wing in send job. He can't control it. And uh, the ball out of bounds. A pretty scrappy passage of play, Laurie. I'd suggest oh, pretty hard to call. Look, Eric, I can't believe the skill error is coming from so good, called good footballers, you know. I mean, uh, players with the experience are just... You know, you, I know it's windy, but you just got to watch what you're doing with the footy. Menzies goes towards Humphrey, the only one on with the eyes for the ball, and takes the mark at centre half forward. Goes long now, Cowan it behind, Morrison in front. Cowan uses the body, it's off hands. Morrison now, can he kick the goal? Can he finish it? Yes, he can. That's skillful play by Lee Morrison. He kicks his third goal and the eighth for Thompson. They're eight seven fifty five. They lead East Geelong four six thirty. Lex of Wyndham third to scoreboard. 15, nearly 16 minutes gone and Laurie, that's a difference, isn't it, there they just they took a mark and yep. he was the only one with the eyes of the ball, went long to Cowan yeah, and Good the roaming. opportunist goal too, yep. swooped on he's, he's quite a handy player, Lee Morrison I haven't seen him play before, did he play uh, well? Ex Newcomb. Is he? Yeah. Ex Newcomb. Yeah, the two, the two Morrisons. <laughs> well, I'm oh, not, Laurie's just lit up I'm actually going to Newcomb function now, <laughs> and, and there's quite a few of them there, there's uh, Williams Hill and uh, now that uh, yeah, so uh, we've got a few. In the context boys, of the day, Laurie, what, what's going to be a good lead at three quarter time for Thompson? Well, look, I reckon probably four goals. Yeah, the way things are looking. In the centre of the ground, up it goes. In front there was uh, Hayes. Can't take the ball, unfortunately. So Bailey Armstrong playing a very good quarter. Threw the ball out right in front of the umpire. You saw that one. And uh, free kick goes to uh, the East Geelong side. Mark taken on centre wing by uh, Gunn. Handball wide to Dale Purcell. Back on the ground. Well, fairly uh, gentle with the kick on that occasion, but it gets a fair bit of distance. Goes into the forward line. Stein picks up the ball. Handball to uh, uh, Gunn. Uh, over the, well, Aitchison can't handle it. And uh, Mickey Gann was... Uh, well, he, he played a sensational game last week. Finding it hard to get into the game today because the ball's just uh, not getting up there. But, uh, well, there's one of the best kicks for the day. Kicking it back to boundary. I'm has gone 40 metres over his head into the crowd. <laughs> So somebody's hit the ball pretty well there. But boundary umpire waiting for it to be a return. Half forward flank for East Geelong. On the northern side here, Richmond Crescent. Right spot, Laurie, to get a goal if they can get it. If they can snare one here. Bit of thought goes into this. Ball comes in. Uh, Marcus can't get it. Reuter didn't go for it. Well, he's gone uh, toward the goal right across the face. Didn't hit it at all well off the boot. And off hands, it's gone out of bounds on the south side of the goals on this occasion and now the job becomes difficult because they've yeah. got to bring it back into the bruise. I, I think Andrew rushed that a little bit. I mean, that was a uh, pretty panicky sort of a kick. I think he could have, he had time. He might have not have known what he was about. The, well, isn't that indicative perhaps of not enough talk? On yeah, the first, I would have thought so, so Eric. And, uh, you know, and essentially today you've got to talk. 17, 18 minutes gone. Third quarter, ball comes in. Thompson again taking the ball away through uh, Bradley. Left foot kick. Uh, the bruise carries it a fair way. The runner almost took the mark there for uh, Thompson. But uh, off hands again, it's out of bounds, and uh, once it gets up in the air, the wind certainly takes control of it and uh, carried it probably another 20 or 30 metres toward the boundary. So it's between wing and half forward flank on the change room side here at Richmond Crescent. In front is uh, Shane Hayes, gets the ball to ground. Oh, great tackle there from uh, Peacock. Ball spills again to uh, to ground. Peacock, well, threw it out, I thought, but uh, play on, said the umpire. Comes to ground. Gibson it is for East Geelong. No, it's... Uh, Evans. Evans. Good burst of speed there. And, well, <laughs> players are going to ground right, left and centre there. And it just uh, seemed to be off the ball. Stein went down. Uh, Peters went down. And uh, then the ball arrived. <laughs> so, so it's out of bounds again. Half forward flank for uh, the East Geelong side. They're really struggling to get forward in this third quarter. Reuter. Gets a tap forward. Has to do the roving himself because the uh, Rovers have gone without the ball. Finally, Costello gets a handball out. Comes to the centre of the ground. Mark dropped there by Hobbs for East Geelong. Good backing up by Sean O'Leary. Now he's this uh, Geelong side and clear. It's ended up with Flanagan at half forward. He's put the ball high in the air. To, oh. But the uh, no 
real uh, distance in his kick. It's come back to, to, from where it's come to Shane Hayes. Well, on the blind side of the umpire. <laughs> no, he saw it. <laughs> this umpire saw it. On the blind side of the uh, controlling umpire, he threw the ball, and the uh, trailing umpire again has given the decision. So, uh, Thompson, well, the sun's got in the eyes of uh, all players there. Mark taken by uh, Stefanovski. Handball over to Sean O'Leary. A little chip pass, but uh, Thompson got a lot more at the drop of the ball because uh, HSN of the, uh, Armstrong drives the ball to uh, half forward over the head of all players. Cowan creates a pass for the player running through, and it's Morrison again. And uh, Lee Morrison has kicked his fourth. And, uh, well, I reckon Cowan hasn't had many kicks today, but I'll tell you what, he's created a few goals with his bulk and the way that he's uh, using it up there. The uh, Lexus Wyndham scoreboard now 20 minutes into the third quarter. East 4, 6.30. Thompson 9, 7, 61. We've got a uh, half-time score from uh, North Geelong and Bell Post Hill. North Geelong 11, 5, 71. They lead Bell Post Hill 6, 6, 42. There's an old ex-North Geelong boy in front of us who's pretty happy about that too. I think he's still chief executive there, but we'll talk to him later. Well, how will Philpot be? Hey, oh, oh, don't yeah. start. Jeez. All we're going to hope now is three men on my boot Collingwood. Well, let's hope. <laughs> that game's at Bell Post Hill, though, isn't it? It is. So the, the, the breeze will be going that way. The hill might have the use of the breeze in the last quarter, hopefully. 9-7 <laughs> playing 4-6 here at Richmond Crescent. We've been playing uh, twenty, nearly 21 minutes. Umpire throws it up in the middle again. Hayes gets it in towards Flanagan. And uh, he runs into Justin Justin. And the umpire says it's held to him. It will be a secondary bounce in the middle. And uh, Hayes getting across there again to the ruck work. They're not playing well enough for this lorry, are they, to, uh, to be a chance here? No, they just seem to give the impression, Eric, they're just hanging in there for the for their use of the wind in the next quarter, and you just can't afford to do that. Ball's still in the middle now. Thompson with the numbers again, two on one. Maharis gets it, goes with the right boot towards half forward. Hobbs gets back there, though. Can he take the mark? No, he can't. It's off his hands. Fresh air shot, Humphrey. And uh, the numbers, though, with the Eagles. Stefanovski tries to drill the pass towards Marcus. It's uh, wide of him, though, and out of bounds on the uh, southern side. Centre wing for a boundary throw-in. And uh, Andy Roy getting across there to do the ruck work for the Eagles. Up against Rob Lazic, thrown in now. And a number of players standing around the ball. Senjov will be able to take it. And uh, turns around onto his left boot, passes the ball. Hobbs got a hand to it now, has to uh, get back and try and get around from Daniels. He got the handball away, but Evans couldn't keep it in, and the boundary umpire will do it all again. In S between wing and half forward. Came toward the middle, Laurie, obviously a, a left footer, had to go back on his left foot and probably lost the advantage that these might have had. That's right. That. <coughs> Hayes in the middle now, goes to Senjov, who breaks free, gets a uh, left foot kick towards half forward. Stein ripped off the footy by Barnett, but he does well, secondary effort, handball towards the boundary line. Good defensive play, Jason Stein. And it will be another boundary throw-in. I see Hayes and Rorter at the, at the, at the throw-ins there, though, Eric. I mean, they probably be... There's no one up there to take the ball any further up the ground. And no. uh, they've got to space themselves out a little bit, I think. And, uh, well, Thompson have got a spare player in the back line. Yeah, because uh, Reuter's down at the other end by himself. Uh, he's just moved down there. Hayes from the ruck contest. Costello held it up and then handballed OK towards Daniels. The two young guns go from centre wing towards centre half forward. That's a great kick. Goes out towards half forward. Morrison can't take the mark off. Hands Hill's there. He's also got a support gun. Handball over the top towards Gibson. Will it sit for him? Oh, no, it doesn't. It sits for Humphrey, though, but a good tackle. Gibson, he dropped the footy. Yes, said the umpire, and it will be a free kick to East. To who, swooped, who swooped on it? Morrison. Yes. Morrison. But it's going to come back. Gibson can go towards Reuter, who takes the mark on centre wing. And he gets it around the corner towards Flanagan. It sits in on the boundary. It's OK. Flanagan takes the grab. He's in between wing and half forward. Northern side of the ground. Just the right of our commentary box. Goes to the right boot now. Drills it back in towards centre half forward. Hay stands his ground. Ferguson off hands to the back. Highland handball. Running through Gann. Gets a left foot kick away. That's down the ground. That's too high. And I think that might be the coach. And he's gone for... Uh, well, he'll be meeting the tribunal chairman on Monday night. Yes, he will. But look at that there. I think Empire Flowers has uh, reported him for the striking. And uh, just seeing who it is, I think it's Mick Gann. Mick Gann, where's Tracy? I'll tell you what, I think Mickey Gann has been up a few times at the tribunal and always as, a <laughs> as the person that's been struck. And uh, yellow card that catches off. A little bit of frustration coming there, I think, because uh, Dale's not 100% fit either. Running out there. And the ball has come down the ground and it is in fact inside the for, inside the forward 50 for Thompson so free kick down the ground plus 50 it must have been 
Is that what it was? Well, because he didn't kick the ball that far. It must have been 100 metres. Well, it was a secondary, uh, perhaps a secondary occurrence. The uh, nah, what's doing here? Gan coming ahead. off the ground, and Robbie Burns got the footy. He'll be kicking from 45 metres out, directly in front. Blood rule, is it? Well, no, he's, he might have been, but anyway, Robbie Burns got it. They're 9 7 61, Thompson East along a 4 6 30. We've been playing nearly 25 minutes in this third term, and a chance for Robbie Burns to put his first goal on the board. And the 10th for Thompson, so he's got it now. He comes in and he's missed it. In fact, as he reached, got the distance, it's off hands and through for one behind. So 9 8 62, Thompson East along 4 6 30. Lex of Wyndham, third quarter scoreboard, 25 minutes gone. And the Eagles down to 17 now with Dale Purcell, their coach, off the ground for 15 minutes. So about the 10-minute mark of the uh, last term, they'll be able to bring that player back on. Short kick in from Williams, finds Stefanovski. And he's taken the mark. It's the play on now. He does so, goes to the right boot towards the middle of the ground. Maharis has got his name written on it. And he takes the grab. So Nick Maharis has got uh, Armstrong in board over his head though. Hobbs got a hand to it and it sat for him and he can run away from Wolfen and take the bounce. <laughs> Just sat up for him, goes to the right boot towards O'Leary who's moved up the ground. He's taken the mark at half forward. He's got nobody to kick to now. Peters gives him a lead. He goes in that direction. He set it up beautifully for him. And Dode Peters can't take the mark. It's over his head. Can he keep, kick a goal though? No, he can't. Stevie Daniels is there and sees it through for a rush behind to the Eagles. So they go to 4-7-31. And Thompson, 9862, Lexa Wyndham, third quarter scoreboard. Now, sorry, sorry, Eric. Now, I reckon if, if I was smart, Sabali Armstrong's uh, Purcell's immediate player, I'd, I'd sit him just in this pocket here and leave him here and direct the footage straight we'll through. Him. Certainly toward the half forward. Get frame. on the phone and just, tell the coach. Just stay there. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, thanks, Alan, Alan. Moore, Alan Moore's going to run around and tell Greg McLeod. <laughs> well, the ball at fullback, and it's. Uh, Armstrong, who does the kicking, and he's kicked it uh, pretty well. Landed uh, outside 50. Got two Thompson players. Neither no of them can get up. Finally, Costello, handball across to Highland. Highland further forward to Robbie Byrne. Byrne of uh, Thompson. Well, About the there, Laurie? Exactly where Laurie yeah. suggested should go to. The problem is that, uh, well, Thompson players now have arrived, and Morrison swoops on the ball. This time it's uh, Dale. Drives the ball back to uh, the full forward position. Oh, great defence there by uh, Williams against Cowan. Strong punch has uh, found the safety of the boundary line 40 metres away and uh, taken the danger away just for the moment. But uh, Thompson done all the attacking in this quarter, perhaps haven't uh, capitalised as well as they could. Well, the boundary umpire puts the ball back into play. That's as good as I can say. And it comes to ground. Big pack of players finally... It's Costello again, comes clear for Thompson. The lead is uh, there by, uh, that was uh, Morrison Lee again. Can't take it, comes to ground. And uh, the missed kick goes to oh, the Highland. Oh, don't tell me. Highland <laughs> in the centre of the ground. And uh, Laurie's move. Uh, well, Kick it, boy. <laughs> I'm pleased that uh, Greg McLeod is listening to our broadcast because Savali Armstrong is standing exactly where Laurie suggested he should have been. Taking the mark and will now have a kick from outside 50. So an opportunity to kick his third goal for the day. Won't be any problem with distance the way this fellow kicks the ball, in my view. However, moves in. Oh. It's not a bad-looking <laughs> kick. It's not a bad-looking goal. Right over the goal umpire's head, and uh, that's probably the best goal of the day. On the Lex Lexus of Wyndham scoreboard <laughs> now, 28 minutes into the third quarter, 10-8-68 Thompson. They lead East Geelong 4-7-31. Not, not just because you must have that. an inner glow now, Laurie. <laughs> not just because of that kick, but he's played quite a good game. Yeah, field, that's played about well. Armstrong. And he, I, every time I see him, he plays well. Yeah. He seems to know where to go to get a kick, and that's pretty important. I so. think perhaps um, to suggest East Geelong are in a modicum of trouble here would be an understatement. Well, <laughs> one down player. Well, Eric, it's not just that. They just don't seem to have any system in their play whatsoever. No, you know? they and, don't. and I mean, uh, if they can turn around the next quarter, they'll have to, they'll have to get some sort of system playing. Back in the middle now. Andy Reuter up against Rod Peacock. Umpire Flowers has the ball. He throws it up now. Reuter tries to play Peacock coming from behind. 
down towards Barnett. Now it's pushed forward, and Barnett gets it again. Can run away. No, he can't. Atchison, great tackle. Lost the footy, and Peacock's back there as well. Goes short towards Lazic, who takes the grab. Plays on quickly. He's got Armstrong inside. Laurie wants him to go there. He goes further afield, though, over the head of Morris and falls to Andy Hill, who played on. Oh, he got away. He backed himself. Now he goes with the right boot. Wide open spaces on centre wing. He left to chase it himself. He's got nobody in support. Marcus comes across now. Hill as well. Coming out at Highland. Marcus runs and leaves it behind Good Highland. Yeah, well, that's... Uh, <laughs> That's uh, out of bounds. Great play, Christian Highland. Jase, uh, you're not bad on the rules. Mm -hmm. Can uh, Dale Purcell address his players this week at a time? He's off for 15 minutes. Yes, I think he can. <laughs> and I think even if he wasn't allowed, he'd probably do it. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> Roy, gets it down Flanagan. Ask the secretary standing in front of you. Goes <laughs> towards uh, Costello. Ferguson, slick hand towards Gibson. Tried to handball to Intervong, no. Mitchell chops it off. Goes with the right boot. Cross to the wing. Goes towards... Uh, the uh, half-back flank, Gann, tries to keep it in front. Burns there as well. Oh, he got away. Got a left foot kick towards a centre-half forward. Nobody there. Humphrey running onto it. Had it, oh, lost it, got it. Play. Got it back, did well. Oh, broke free. Oh, he could have handled it with a spud. But he goes for goal again. Cowan standing in the goal square and has taken the mark. I think there were some apologies. Uh, <laughs> Armstrong, he said, Armstrong. what did you give it to me? And then he saw he put it down, Cowan. So he's like, OK, sorry. <laughs> so Mark Cowan's got it. The, and uh, we'll shoot for goal. The team atmosphere today is just a total contrast, Thompson, from last week to this week. It, they're, they're just a different unit today. So Mark Cowan's got it. 45-degree angle. Two metres out. And there's kicked the goal. His first for the day. And the 11th for Thompson. They're 11 8 74. They lead East Geelong 4 7 31. Lexa Wyndham, third quarter scoreboard. We've been playing 31 minutes in the third term. Laurie, uh, Cowan might have only kicked one goal, but I, I believe he's been instrumental about five or six of the Thompson goals up there. He's been a focal point with his bulk. He's been able to create a pass for the smaller players, and I, I'd put him in one of the very good players for them. Well, he, he always seems to play that sort of style of play, though, Eric. And, uh, you know, I, I think the windy conditions today might have made him a bit awkward to take marks and the way he plays, but uh, his bulk and body there is, uh, yeah, he's, he's made some space, and, uh, you know, that's a good play, of course. So back in the middle, pretty close to siren time for three-quarter time. Reuter and uh, Rob Lazic now in the ruck again for Thompson. Umpire throws it up. And neither can get an effective tap. Falls the side of the pack. Highland goes for fresh air shot. Got held siren. back. And there is the siren for three-quarter time. And at three-quarter time, it's Thompson. 11-8-74. And they lead East Geelong 4-7-31 in that term. Thompson kicked five goals, three with the breeze, while East Geelong managed two behinds. And the goal kickers, the three-quarter time for Thompson, four to Lee Morrison, and three each to Sabali Armstrong and, and Rick Humphrey, one to Mark Cowan, while East Geelong's goals, Kiao with the bong has three, and Mark Sanjov has one. But it is a, a pretty convincing 43-point margin at three-quarter time for the visitors, Thompson. They lead 11-8-74 to 4-7-31.